I love Luke Smith. I've been following this guy's YouTube videos and to some extent or other, and I love the fact that he makes useful snippety programs and he makes, he customizes Vim, which I, I, I was a Vim person for 10 years. He, uh, yeah, it's very practical and he, he manages to convey that in YouTube videos. And I also like his, he made this really grounded video about how sometimes, how when the Linux kernel community was getting political and and how uh, politics and social issues were kind of upsetting his fan demographic, which I'm in. Uh, and he just kind of, is worth listening to about everything. With that said, he's a Vim person and I am no longer a Vim person. I ramble about that in another video. And, but I wanted to just do something useful in, in setting up Emacs uh, in the same vein that I think Luke Smith keeps knocking down awesome uh, Linux and Vim scripts and packaging and this kind of thing. So let's get Emacs up in here. Um, and now hopefully I'm in a scratch. Oh God, I wanted to be, hang on. Let's go for, yes, okay, I've made it to a scratch terminal. And so, I remember when I was first going from Space Max, which is evil Vim, just 95% of Vim on top of a little bit of Emacs stuff to get Emacs's packaging system. Um, and I was on an Emacs wiki and I was like, God, how do you actually set up Emacs for the first time? And I was reading a thread and somebody said, well, just think about what you would like to happen when Emacs starts up and then um, just write some Elisp to do that. Elisp isn't that hard. Uh, and I found myself saying that to someone last week. I said, well, just think about what you want to happen when your IDE starts up and then write something that does that. And so uh, it's hard to do things when you don't have a goal, but let's just say when Emacs starts up, you want it to open two shell buffers and run some shell command in each of those shell buffers in different windows. So let's just write some Emacs Lisp, pop to buffer, get buffer create, which makes a new buffer but doesn't pop it to foreground necessarily. But in this case, this one will be in foreground anyway. Um, and then we can open a shell in the current buffer. Oh, I bet that autocomplete would work here. And then let's send a string to that shell. And now just, you know, so we're doing something just barely non-trivial. Let's get another window happening. It'll switch up. That'll be our current window and we switch to it and let's pop to another buffer and let's create it in the same way but let's name it something else i like to name my buffers after boats uh, and let's open another shell now in our new current buffer and then uh, we can finish printing our Oh, I should have had, no, I don't think it matters. All right, have I written this? Okay, I might be forget, uh, saving it, but let's just evaluate the buffer, which we could do uh, when Emacs is starting up. Awesome. 